Perakin Agolin Daf Yud Aleph sponsor the Rafur Shlema for Adina Shoshana Bas Miriam Simcha. A verse states, "Diber Bozne Zikne Ha'ir Es Devarim." Rabbi Elazar derives from it two laws. Number one, most of the city are murderers; it cannot provide refuge. This is the murderer's appeal to be accepted in the city. If most are murderers, an appeal would not be necessary. Number two, it cannot be a city of refuge without elders. Ravami and Ravasi dispute this as well. The one who does not require elders holds it is only a mitzvah. This dispute also applies to a ben Sora more and egla rufa, where elders also participate in the judicial process. The Gemara distinguishes between two similar terms, Vayidaber v'yadber. Concerning cities of refuge, a verse introduces it, Vayidaber Hashem el Yoshua. Hashem spoke firmly. It was either because it was the only mitzvah commanded to him or because he delayed establishing them. Yadber amim tachtenu is a verse in Tehillim, referring to the end of days when the nations of the world will succumb to Hashem willingly. It is a gentle persuasion. There are two interpretations to the verse. The Torah was already written in Yoshua's days. It refers either to the last eight verses written by Yoshua after Moshe's death, or he inscribed the subject of Ori Miklat already inscribed in the Torah. Rabbi Yehud and Rabbi Meir disputed whether one is permitted to sew a Torah scroll with linen thread. One holds since the term Torah is used concerning tefillin, the oral tradition from Sinai to use sinews applies to Torah scrolls as well. The other opinion holds the comparison is only to the parchment. It must be from a kosher animal. The halach is the sewing of the Sefer Torah must be done with sinews as well. Now we move on to a new Mishnah. The Mishnah discusses Kohanim that qualified to release a refugee to return home. The death of any one of the three or according to Rabbi Yehuda, of the four can release him. Number one, Kohen Gadol who served before Melech Yoshio, inaugurated with the Shemana Mishcha, and after his time by wearing the eight vestments without anointing. Number two, a deposed replacement of a Kohen Gadol releases a refugee who entered during his tenure. Number three, Rabbi Yehuda includes a Mashuach Milchama, the one who addressed the soldiers going to war. Their mothers provided food and clothing to prevail upon the refugees, not to pray for their sons to die. The proof. The Torah mentions three times the refugee is released when the Kohen Gadol dies. Rabbi Yehuda derives the fourth from a verse that does not mention Kohen Gadol, only Kohen. A question. Why were the mothers worried about their prayers? A baseless curse is not effective. The answer. This murder indicates the Kohen Gadol did not pray sufficiently on Yom Kippur, the nation not violate the three cardinal sins. Rabbi Yehuda Marav states a baseless curse of a Chacham takes effect. David questioned Achitofel if the divine name could be erased to prevent another flood. He cursed him for withholding an answer. Despite the fact he answered David, he eventually strangled himself without sufficient grounds. Rabbi Yavo states a conditional curse of a Chacham takes effect. Elia Cohen cursed Shmuel, his sons would not be virtuous for not revealing to him a prophecy he received. Despite his revelation, his curse was effective. Rabbi Yehuda Marav states a conditional excommunication requires annulment. Rabbi Yehuda accepted excommunication only if he did not return Binyamin to Yaakov. Despite this, unlike his brothers, his bones were detached for the 40 years in the desert, and he did not enter the world to come until Moshe prayed for him. Now we move on to a new Mishnah. Number one, if after the murderer was sentenced, the Kohen Gadol died, he does not go to exile. It is not exile that atones, but the death of the Kohen Gadol. However, he must be buried there, as stated in the verse, Los Sheves Ba'aretz. Number two, if before being sentenced the Kohen Gadol died, he is exiled, only released after the new one dies. A proof. The verse states the refugee must remain until the Kohen Gadol dies. Asher Mashach Shem and Amishcha. It does not re refer to the refugee. He did not anoint him, but he was anointed when he was a murderer, 
Although this new Kohen was anointed after the murder, his death atones because he did not pray for the murderer's exoneration. Number three, if when sentenced there was no Kohen Gadol or he was accidentally killed or the Kohen Gadol accidentally killed, he is never released from exile. Number four, the refugee cannot leave to testify for a mitzvah, a monetary or capital crime, even if he is a general needed to lead the army in battle. The word Shema recurs numerous times to teach there he lives, dies, and is buried. Number five, just as the city provides refuge, so does its tchum, 2,000 cubits beyond the city limits. Number six, if the Goel Adam finds the refugee in the tchum, Rav Yossi holds it as a mitzvah for the Goel Adam to kill him, and another Jew is permitted. Rav Yekiva holds the, the Goel Adam is permitted, and the other Jew is a murderer. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Thank you.